Look, Bentley, with all due respect, it looks an awful lot like a water tower. Don't be fooled. That's what she wants you to think. If we try to free Murray while that thing is operational, why... What, we'll have plenty of fresh drinking water? I'm serious, Sly. Of course. I do owe you one. The lightning rods around the prison are designed to draw lightning strikes away from the water tower. And... Giant attack robot. Uh huh, yeah. By turning the wheels on the rod, you should be able to redirect the electrical current away from its ground wire, rendering it useless. Follow the lightning strikes to locate all five rods. Okay, so you want me to break the ground circuit on all these lightning rods so that a bolt will strike and destroy the giant attack robot posing as a water tower. That's an accurate summation. Nice work. That lightning rod is out of commission. Look around for lightning strikes to find the other rods.
Thanks to your recent efforts, we're ready to attempt a Murray rescue. I call this plan the Trojan Tank. Step one, we use the Contessa's keys to steal one of her tanks. I'll jump in and drive while you keep out of sight by crawling underneath. With some luck, the guards won't notice anything out of the ordinary and open the prison gates for us. We casually roll in, and then blast the security doors to Murray's cell block. Once inside, you'll need to improvise your way up to the guard control center and open the doors leading down to solitary confinement. Let's hope Murray hasn't cracked under the Contessa's hypnosis. I'm heading out for the tank. the prison gate. Let's see if they fall for it. Suckers! Get out from underneath the tank before I let loose with a turret. <laughs> 